Breaking news, an update on infamous burglar and escape artist Joel O'Keefe. Elaine Houston is joining us in studio right now with the details you will see first on 13. Elaine, good afternoon. Hi, Stella. Well, my colleague Mark Mulholland was first to report that O'Keefe is back in the capital region. O'Keefe was convicted of burglary in 1994 after police say he broke into a Round Lake home and raped a woman at knife point is now being held at the Saratoga County Jail. The 62-year-old will be back in court in Saratoga County next Next week, where the state will argue that he should be civilly confined instead of being released. Looking back at O'Keefe's history in September of 1994, a handcuff O'Keefe bolted from a state police car in Malta while being transported to the county jail. His escape led to a two week manhunt involving hundreds of officers across several states, and it ended when he was spotted at a subway shop in Bennington. He went to prison and tried to escape at least once while there. He was finally released from prison in March of 2018, and in an exclusive interview, he told our Mark Mulholland that no one would have any problems with him. But just a couple of months later, he was arrested in Saratoga Springs, accused of approaching women inappropriately. He was sent back to prison on a parole violation and was most recently confined to a psychiatric facility in Marcy, where a law enforcement source says he also tried to escape. So what is civil confinement? It is a form of voluntary confinement where even though a person has done their time, this type of confinement is requested because they are still considered at risk of committing offenses in the future. It is used by states to remove habitual sex offenders, but it's not only sex offenders. In the studio, Elaine Houston, News Channel 13.